Robbins. What's up everybody? My name is Austin Robinson. Some of you may know me as Space Case. I am a New Jersey based artist and today I want to wish a very happy birthday to a buddy of mine, Dominic Jones, aka Clumsy. Recently, Clumsy and I collaborated on a music video for one of his new songs, and his new project dropped yesterday, so you should all go check that out, link in the bio. Also, go watch the animated music video I made, but today, I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes of that animated music video, and just breaking down some of the stuff I created, and just talking about the creation process behind what was my very first animation project. So, I had never even done an animation, before Clumsy had hit me up, I spent a whole weekend just binge watching Broad City and the intro to that show, they had a ton of like these little animated title screens. So I was like, oh, like I wanna make one of those for my YouTube videos. So I did that and then he saw it on Instagram and he was like, hey man, like would you ever consider animating a full project? So I was definitely down for the challenge because I've always wanted to create a cartoon. So he sent me a song, we agreed on a price and then I just, and then I, you know, pulled a Philip DeFranco and I just jumped right into it. So we're gonna go through and watch the video and I'm gonna use my trusty Apple Pencil and just go behind the scenes on the construction of Clumsy's Great Escape. So the video starts out with two mutual friends of ours. That's how I even found out about Clumsy. Matt and Andrew Hutchinson were friends with him and I just friended him on Facebook, started listening to his music. He started following my art. So we decided to put the Hutchinson brothers in there just as like, you know, the little bridge between Clumsy and I. So for the intro, I wanted to match the colors to the beat. So I just went through, I picked some of my favorite colors, threw them in there. I took the text and I did an alpha overlay. That way the text could have the movement inside and I just found some stock footage of like flashing colors. So it starts out with a smile. I was basically done the music video and I just needed one thing. Like that was the only section that had nothing and I didn't know what I wanted to do there. In the end, I ended up just putting a little smiley face in there and it gives you a little intro to the sun character that we're about to see. So with this little sun guy, I wanted his rays to be moving the entire time. So I made two separate images in Photoshop. This whole video was done in Photoshop. I don't know how normal people do animations, but I did it frame by frame in Photoshop. So made two separate pictures, one for the face, one for the rays, and then I just had the rays rotating at a steady pace throughout the entire video using anchor points. So that little transition there, while as qu as quick as it was, that was actually really time consuming. It was probably like 80 or 90 separate pictures of the sun slowly turning into this little pot leaf and then the pot leaf blowing smoke. And then I already had these like cartoon transition wipes already made. So I just threw those in there to transition into the next thing, which was this brain into the pot of gold, which at first like I, I had to hit up so many people to be like, yo, is this corny? Like I wasn't sure how people were gonna take it and everyone actually really seemed to like it. But every time I watch it, I'm just like, man, I'm still not sure. But people seem to like it, so that's all that matters. The Scooby Snacks into the Juice World was also pretty fun to do. I knew that I wanted to zoom into the red and then have it zoom back out into being Juice World. So I overlaid Juice World's eyes, made them all red, and then just did this little like quick animation picture of them. So it could zoom in from the Scooby Snacks and then zoom out to Juice World in the back. If you'll notice, so I have these rays like emulating from the corner throughout the entire video. Some of them I turned the opacity down in, but it was more just, I didn't want any point of the video to be like stagnant. I wanted the entire thing to just be like, you watch it over and over and over again and there's something that you didn't see each time. My attention span is very short, so I just wanted there to always be stuff going on. The smiley face into the pentagram into the globe. Once again, just a ton of Photoshop images, probably like another 90 of them. So it starts out with the smiley face and then I have the pentagram slowly build its way in and then frame by frame I raised the opacity on the globe and lowered it on the smiley face and then in the background I still have those rays going and I have this like liquid tie-dye footage that I found. Changed the colors up just so it would match the setting a little better. Originally these two suns were just flat on the screen like one on each side and they were just going back and forth and I let one of my friends see the video and he was like oh like you should put in some more movements in there like then it would make it seem like it was a real music video like you know people aren't standing still in a bunch of music videos so I definitely agreed so I did this little like pan shot between the two cartoons and I think it ended up looking really cool this is where it goes from the cartoon Sun character into an animated version of clumsy that I made we've got both sides of his tattoos his rap tattoo on his neck and then the other side is the dreamer tattoo and the KZ under his eye this was actually done on the very first day like the day he booked it I was like all right let's get it like I'm gonna start working on it so I went through animated these side versions of his face and then figured out how to animate like certain movements of lips. So 
<laughs> when I was done this day, I like had to drive somewhere and I felt actually insane because the whole time I was doing this, I was trying to like really sound out words and figure out like what a mouth movement looks like when you're doing this. So I was just sitting there like, la, la, t, t, ch, ch, just trying to like figure out what your mouth looks like when you make certain sounds. When I like walked outside into the real world, I was like, what the heck is this? Like none of this even seems real. Cause I was just so caught up in this like cartoon frame of mind of speaking that I was just like, how is anything real right now? That one, it took me a second to like get back into reality. This shot I was a little worried about. Um, Definitely like a possible seizure warning should be in effect. This scene transitions from this sun character over to this moon character that will lead the second part of the video. So the sun is slowly going down and the moon is slowly rising. Uh, Clumsy sent me this cathedral that's in Santa Fe. Apparently it's in like the downtown area of where he lives and it's like a huge hangout spot, I guess. So he was like, I don't know if you could, but like if you could like work this in there, that would be awesome. So I made the little cartoon version of it. I cut out the sky of that image and then had this like tie-dye ray emulating from the church and then we've got this little car that comes in and same thing like that was just an image made in Photoshop and then it moves around from keyframes plane going through with keyframes and then just switching back and forth between blue purple I actually really like that scene but again it's like one of those ones where I was kind of worried like is this a little too seizure-y god I'm like really coming for people that have seizure problems damn <laughs> I didn't even notice when I was making the video. This is probably my favorite background animation that I made in this entire video. Um, it starts off with the moon taking up half the screen and then it, the orange slowly fades to black. And then we have this like, all these dots, all these color dots were individual frames. So I'm not even gonna attempt to count them, but there's definitely like at least 120 dots on there. So that was 120 images that I made and changed the frame rate to be really fast. But then we have this like black line and these whites that meet up. I just really like that transition. And then instead of having the blue arrows that come in and having both Clumsy's faces on screen, I did them individually here just so it seemed like a more organic conversation back and forth. This one, I put a filter over the background. That way it wouldn't be so like vibrant and in your face. And then for the end, we have the sun and the moon coming together and ending the song. I'm going to cough. <coughs> and Clumsy's face just kind of like there. And then that's the end of the video. We got this like slime wipe that comes down and then all of his social medias. So it was a super fun project to work on for me, but it was also very stressful because it coincided with the opening of our new store. So right when I accepted it, the same weekend, it was like, oh, like, hey, we got the store, we can open, let's do it. So then I was like spending time there trying to get stuff ready for that while also trying to make sure I'm working on this and getting products ready for everything. So I was very grateful for the opportunity. Everyone, go check out Clumsy's music video, Great Escape. I have heard this song, I'm not even joking when I say this, at least 300 times. And it's a song that I'll still put on and just listen to casually. Like I didn't get tired of it one single time. Anyone that I was FaceTiming while working on it, they found themselves singing it. It's a really great song. It's really catchy. You should definitely go check it out. Subscribe to his page. Follow him on all his music links. If you'd like to support this channel, go check out my Etsy shop or check out my Patreon. Both links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later this week for more art related videos. Peace.